dearly beloved, with one heart and one soul, let us by our prayers come to the aid of these our brother, sister in their blessed home, so that as they are. Let us humbly invoke upon this phone the grace of God, the Almighty Father, that those who from it are born anew might be numbered among the children of adoption in Christ. Now we will um, sing the litany of saints before the blessing of the water. Please kneel. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray. Saint Michael, pray for us. Holy Angel of God, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Peter and Saint Paul, pray for us. Saint Pray for us, Saint John. Pray for us, Saint Mary Magdalene. Pray for us, Saint Stephen. Pray for us, Saint Ignatius of Antioch. Pray for us, Saint Lawrence. Pray for us, Saint Perpetua and Saint Felicity. Pray for us, Saint Agnes. Pray for us, Saint Gregory. Pray for us, Saint Augustine. Pray for us, Saint Anna. Pray for us, Saint Basil. Pray for us, Saint Martin. Pray for us, Saint Benedict. Pray for us, Saint Francis and Saint Dominic. Pray for us, Saint Francis Xavier. Pray for us, St. John Biani. Pray for us, St. Catherine of Siena. Pray for us, St. Teresa of Jesus. Pray for us, all holy men and women, saint of God. Pray for us. Lord, be merciful. Lord, Lord be merciful. We, we pray from all evil. Lord, deliver us. We pray from hell. Sin. Lord, we are from everlasting death. Lord, deliver us, we pray, from everlasting death. Lord, deliver us, we pray. By your incarnation, Lord, we pray. By your 
death and resurrection. Lord, we were as we were by the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Lord, we were as we were be merciful to us sinners. Lord, we ask you here we pray. Bring these chosen ones to new birth by the grace of baptism. Lord, we ask you here Make this font holy by your grace for the new birth of your children. Lord, we ask you our prayer. Jesus, Son of the Living God, Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously. She hear us, Christ, hear us. Almighty and ever-living God, be present by the mystery of your great love and send forth the spirit of adoption to create the new peoples brought to birth for you in the form of baptism, so that what is to be carried out by our humble service might be brought to fulfillment of your mighty power. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, who by invisible power accomplished a wondrous effect through the sacramental sign, and who in many ways have prepared water your creation to show forth the grace of baptism. O oh God, whose spirit in the first moment of the world's creation over over the water so that the very substance of water would even then take to itself the power of sanctity O oh god who by the poor outpouring of the flood foreshadowed the regeneration so that from the misery of one and the same element of water would come an end to vice and a beginning of virtue. O oh God, who caused the children of Abraham to pass dry shot through the Red Sea, so that the chosen people set free from slavery to Pharaoh would prefigure the people of the baptized. O oh God, whose son, baptized by John in the water of the Jordan, was anointed with the Holy Spirit, and as he hung upon the cross, gave forth water from his side along with blood, and after his resurrection, commanded his disciple, go forth, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Look now, we pray, upon the face of your church, and graciously unseal for her the fountain of baptism. May this water received by the Holy Spirit, the grace of your only begotten Son, so that human nature created in your own image and washed clean through the sacrament of baptism 
from all the squalor of the life of old. Might be found worthy to rise to the life of newborn children through water and the Holy Spirit. Might the power of the Holy Spirit, O oh Lord, we praise, come down to the, your Son into the fullness of this fun. So that all who have been buried with Christ by baptism into death might rise again to life with Him who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Prince of water, bless the Lord, praise and exhort Him above all forever. Spirit move upon the water, dear creation, stone anew. Baptize every son and daughter into covenant with you. For no water, word and spirit, child of Your people gather and await your love to share. Pascal fire, awake force in beauty, swing in the darkness of our night. Flame of Christ in blazing toward us, lead us by your Light. Pass the flame to all here gather that your mercy all may see. Bright reflection of your glory now and through eternity. Royal priesthood, here anointed, marked by Christ the crucified, touched by oil and now appointed, servant church with Christ our guide. I with him to rise in glory, Join with all the saints and angels round us strong forever sing. Brothers and sisters, through the Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we might walk with him in newness of life. And so, now that our lantern of servants is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounced Satan and his works and promised to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. So I ask you, do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty show? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death, and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, 
the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by God and the Holy Spirit, and bestow on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by His grace, in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's continue with the prayer of the faithful. Filled with the joy of Christ's resurrection, we turn now to our loving God with our needs and the needs of the world. For God's holy church, that through our words and actions, we may continually testify to God's unconditional gift of salvation to the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we are praying. For those in authority, that they may use their power to bring justice and mercy to those who have been afforded no power for themselves, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we are praying. For those who are discouraged and bereft of hope, that God may give them a new heart and place a new spirit within them, and they may feel God's warm embrace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, be our prayer. For those of us present here tonight, and all those participating from home, that we may no longer be entombed by sin and death, but raised to new love, to new life in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. For all of our intentions, spoken and unspoken, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Glorious God, you raise your Son to new life, winning for us our salvation. Renewing us our wonder and joy in all that you have done for us. Hear the prayers we make tonight and always and grant them in the name of your risen Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of his hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept we ask, O Lord, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that what has begun in the Paschal Mysteries might by the working of your power bring us to the healing of eternity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give time to the Lord our God. truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this night, above all, to love you and yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restore our life. Therefore, O oh, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people, I so in your praise, and even the heaven powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Trusted the whole world to his care, so that in serving you alone, the Creator, he might have dominion over all creatures. And when through disobedience he had lost your friendship, you did not abandon him to the domain of death. For you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek might find you. Time and again, you offered them covenants and through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. And you so loved the world, Father, most holy, that in the fullness of time, you sent your only begotten Son to be our Savior, made incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, and to the sorrowful of heart joy. To accomplish your plan, he gave himself up to death, and rising from the dead, he destroyed death and destroyed life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us, 
He sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits for those who believe, so that bringing to perfection His work in the world, He might sanctify creation to the full. Therefore, O Lord, we pray, my the same Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings that they might become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for the celebration.